order of him and T. It's one of them in third and the other in fourth. Yeah, he's also top top five. Yeah, Shuton top five fifth PGR? on the PGR. Versus top Kamehame, five world rankings. Kameme, who's top 20, so no slouch himself. Yeah. Both these guys have, uh, wait, no, I don't think I don't think Shuton's won an S tier, but Kameme's won an S tier. Shuton did win an A tier in Prime Soft. Yeah. So that's been his best victory thus far, but. Yeah, Shuton is, uh, Shuton and Mars are like the two highest ranked players um, this weekend, I believe, at, at Switch Fest in general. I believe so. So I'm uh, looking for Shuton to, you know, do really well at Switch Fest. But first, he's got to win this tournament. Funny enough, uh, Kamei, like, always does really well at, like, these uh, locals mm -hmm. before, like, the big tournaments or after the big tournaments. So, uh, I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if he won this. Honestly, he's going to town right now. Shuton can't even get back to the stage without taking so much percent. Right, of course, we saw Kameme in SoCal recently for MSM 200. Yeah. He invited a whole ton of Mega Man's here. Made it through, I believe, only dropping one game and no sets. So. Yeah, Kameme is insane with Mega Man and, and Wario. Actually, all the characters he plays, really. The Flame Sword coming in from Kameme. Shoots on already at 149%. Has to be careful with these up smashes coming out. Ooh. Man, that forward air buff from Mega Man. Finally, it's a potent killing option. And it can still rack up damage at low percents, too. It can. Shuton has, you know, has to be aware of, of course, what Pikmin he has in tow. Because Mega Man's aerials and some of his grounded attacks, dash attack most notably, can get rid of some of them. Oh my goodness, that shield's so low, but Kameme got a really good out of shield punish with the leaf shield. Oh my god, he's so brave at using his low, low shield to try to deal with these Almar smash attacks. Yeah, he's playing on Dang. the edge here, but managing to just ride in safety. Yeah, he's getting so much percent. Nice. So evasive. He knows exactly what Shuton wants to do. Oh my goodness. Read the roll, but did not get the sweet spot up, so it's still he's firing on all cylinders right now. But Kind of went for a hard read with that up smash. I don't blame him for going for it. It looked like Shuton was going to jump into it, honestly. Just faded back just slightly. Still, though, really big lead. The fair it comes out from Kameme, and now Shuton, all of a sudden, a little over two minutes in and already down to his last stock, while Kameme has a clean second stock of his own. You know, luckily, Alomar can uh, even up the game really well. Just got to get the right punish. So I'm not going to completely count Shuton out of this one so far. But, uh, he's definitely going to have to turn it up because Kamehameha is playing incredibly well. And for the back throw and the saw blade comes out. Oh. The wow. shield will just crack Olimar's helmet. It's going to break at some point. And he's, he's so smart at playing around Olimar. It just shows the experience. Again, he just sees the crossover, just turns around, gets the grab, waits off the spot dodge. Like, knows exactly what to do against his character. And that's why he gets the two stock and the first game win. Really, really solid. Yeah, excellent. Game one was all Kameme, it seemed. Just didn't. Shuton struggled to find his footing, even with some of these mid percent combos, and Kameme was just so patient. Waited off stage, didn't go for anything that he might regret, and just made that ledge his own personal property. Yeah. Playing an advantage, completely his favor. Playing off stage, has like so much pressure. He's just not letting Shuton get away with anything, anything for free, pretty much. Just, uh, that's exactly what you want to see against Almar. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, Kameme will have to deal with FD, so no platforms to make use of. Shuton, what do you make of his counter pick? Well, this has just always been a really strong Almar stage, just due to it being a splat, so he can throw his Pikmin freely, and it's just harder to escape him if he starts juggling you or trying to catch your landing with up smash. So, uh, I don't know, it's a really strong stage, but... Uh, it's uh, not too bad for Mega Man either. It's really going to be on Shuton to play to the counter pick's advantage. He almost got punished again, but nice. He double jabs his force in the tech chase situation. No ledge trump, and that might cost him his stock. Has to use all of his pigment. Ooh. No, he's back off stage again. Oh, my God. I love that Z-drop metal blade. It's just so hard to get past the ledge. There it is. Shuton got sent off stage one time and just lost his stock for it. Oh, that could have been an up smash, it seemed. He had the purple in line. It could have been, but 
as the saw blade and the leaf shield comes out. Early percents, these are going to be useful tools and even more so on a stage without platforms. Alright, so that has a pretty good lineup for killing right now, but Kamehameha is rec uh, recognizing that. And oh, just the air dodge inward, really well. Shuton no, he's almost fine. SDs, but the yeah, free Pikmin he, barely makes it back. Yeah, he was so heavy from carrying all those Pikmin that he almost didn't come back. But he's still offstage in a terrible position, taking so much percent. Just takes the Man, long route back, but the up so tilt, that good. one will sweet spot. He's so good at punishing uh, Shuton for like swinging un unsafely. Or waiting out his defensive option like with the spot dodge. He gets right in his face and sees like a panic option coming and he just responds accordingly. So good. Yeah, Kamehame reminds me of a magician and once you already get hit by one move, he's already pulling out another. Yeah. He does get that stock, but still all the pressure is in Kamehame's favor. It's just so hard for Shudan to get his bearings really. Yeah, Kamehame riding a tidal wave of momentum at the moment. Already has stage control after a bit of disadvantage, although there was a Pikmin latched onto him briefly. Nice. Again, playing around the Pikmin so so well. Even if Shudan does get his side B off, it's just Kameme uh, intercepting them so well. That's a metal blade here. Oh. There it is again. Another backer sends him super far off the stage. Oh my goodness. I wanted to go for the Z drop metal blade, but. Yeah, if he got the... Oh, almost got the up smash. But, oh, he did, but he traded with the back there. Crash Bomber on top of Almar will dwindle the shield Ooh. a little bit. He has a purple here. Oh, no, he doesn't get the snipe. Nice, keeping him off stage where he wants him, but he's back at the ledge. But the up smash, wow. I thought since he got hit by the pellet, he would get stunned a little bit longer, but was able to up smash immediately. Okay, going for the up smash to end the game, but Shijan's fighting back. Oh, really a down tilt. And that white Pikmin did so much percent opportunity here for Sudan to come back. Goes high. He still has the purple. Oh, my goodness. Shuton <laughs> stole game two. He was just playing from a 130% deficit. And Kamehameha is oh laughing. But goodness. you know that has to feel just so awful inside. Wow. And let that game slip. He had all the ways to come back with the Pikmin lineup there. And he just took it. A few openings. Working out in his favor. That was actually really crazy, though, that that up smash uh, traded there. Yeah, it really was. Shutan was down three stocks to one at one point. And yeah. Even when he got into that final stock, already had, you know, the rage did help him, but when you're at 130% and half of Banger Man's moveset will kill you, that's yep. just not something easy to play around. So kudos to him for that. That was a really good comeback. So now we're tying it up 1 1 in the set. It looked like it was going to be 2 0 Kamehameha, honestly, but. Shudan did his best to, to claw his way back into that game. Let's see what Kamehameha can do on this PS2 counter pick. Honestly, Kamehameha wasn't playing bad at all. It just took like Shudan to just go crazy on that last stock. I don't really uh, know what I could say for him to change up, honestly, other than just like close up the stocks a little bit more uh, cleanly. Yeah, doesn't have to make too many gameplay alterations. Went a bit risky towards the end, but you know, until that point, that's exactly how you want to play. So, you know, doesn't have to make too many adjustments to, if he wants to take this game three. Just has to keep playing the way he played in game one. Nice. Waiting out the forward there. Oh, the purple back air. Even Mega Man, super heavy, going to live that one. But uh, most characters would have been dead from that one, for sure. Indeed, but the fair comes oh. in, drop down off the platform. Wants another fair from the ledge. Oh, but so aggressive. I don't blame him. It's Almar. His recovery has no hitbox. Oh, nice. Z-drop, Metal Blade into the back air. He's got to watch it again. Oh! -ho -ho. Converts off the Z-drop this time at the ledge. Kamehameha absolutely showing the dominance he displayed in that game one. And at 164%, the Rage will be helping him out here if he wants to go for those same setups. All right, he's got to be careful of a lot of Shutan's lineup right now. A lot of things will kill. He has the blue for the up throw, the purple aerials to kill. Oh, or just a raw up smash. Kind of got greedy for that dash grab. But uh, he is still pretty decently right now. He does, and just throws out the blue Pikmin. Has no use for it. Wants some of these reds and yellows and whites. Oh, that up air string did so much percent. Jeez, he brought it back just with one string. Oh, no. Maybe he's starting to get greedy for these grabs, and he's getting punished heavily for it. The down smash at the ledge. 
shields up nice. the Crash Farmer as well, and without he a jump, that might back. spell the end. Oh no, my not goodness. quite. The Purple Pikmin stuffs out the recovery. Shoot Damn. on looking a lot better. We haven't seen Shoot on play with a lead towards the latter stage of a game, so have to see how he manages this. Yeah, this is the best position he's uh, been in in the set so far. Oh my goodness, the White Pikmin just made that combo do so much damage. And now he's at kill percent. He has the purple in tow. Throws it off stage trying to get the snipe, but it's still in a really good position here. Yeah, Kamehameha Kamehameha is forced to approach. So careful, even waiting out the spot shot. Oh Shoot my. <laughs> so, oh wow. What the heck? That's How a, did he know he would land there? That was so patient. Yeah, that's a brave raw up tilt from, from Mega Man and Kamehameha. We saw Shuton pull off a major comeback in the last stock. Can Kamehameha do the same? He doesn't have a raw kill move like that purple up smash, so he's gonna have to win neutral a little bit harder than Shutan did, but it's not impossible. He definitely knows what to do when he puts Almar in a rough spot. Down smash comes in, Damn. Shutan, after falling behind one game, takes game three to go up 2-1, and he was just in control of that one, you know, all three minutes. Yeah, that was rough. Uh, Kamehameha again, he got punished for a dash grab, but uh, every time he's gone for that dash grab, it's been like, she's on baiting him, looking like he's vulnerable, and he can just get a punish, but he's just been spot dodge punish every time. So uh, there, all he could have done there is just wait out that spot dodge and try to punish, but he was in a, a situation where he had to make a comeback, so he wanted to take whatever he could get. So now he's going to run it back to PS2, and... Uh, yeah, I don't know. That game, Shuton just went so so hard off stage and uh, commanded the lead once he got like these low percent combos. So I don't know what Kamehameha can really do to avoid that. Like, he definitely knows what to do in the matchup, but I feel like he has to pressure Shuton even harder than he did before. Right, I'm not sure what just unlocked in his mind, but he was playing neutral so much more expertly, just weaving in and out of some of these approaching options, these single hit jabs from Kamehameha. And even just waiting out the fares, not jumping. We know that fair hitbox is going to expire before he lands, so if Shuton can get a grounded punish, he'll go for it. Oh man, now able to convert off of that metal blade. It's really rough for Kamehameha because he can't really afford to drop things in this situation. Okay, he's gonna set for the edge guard here. Oh, Shuton just gets right past him, and that unsafe dash attack can't, can't think that was a uh, intentional input there. No, but the back Ooh. air with the yellow Pikmin from Shuton. We'll close it out 100%, so it does have to be careful for a kill move coming out from Kamehameha. Oh. The Metal Blade almost killing. Nice. The fair will kill, though. Wow. Kamehameha already evening it up. No percent taken. A clean second stock. It's as if that first stock never happened. Yeah, that was such a good edge guard. Wow. Almost perfect punish. Well, not necessarily punish, but defense on the Leaf Shield. Yeah, parried the second to last hit, but... Carrying the penultimate hit won't do you any good because there's an additional one that will put you in a bit of stun. Again, Shudan finds himself at the ledge versus Kamehameha. Can't re-grab here, but Kamehameha goes off stage a little bit too early. Now we'll get a punish, so now he has to deal with this low percent combo. Oh man, you gotta watch out for the pigment four there. Just eating through a lot of Kamehameha's approaches right now. Jab reset. Jeez, so much percent. And Kamehameha okay. goes, reads the jump with the reverse fair. Oh, he's got to watch out for the purple. Even Mega Man's heavy self uh, stumble that move, but deep back air. Can you get this kill? Not able to get the Metal Blade to connect. Definitely need that for him to get the stock there. Oh, the waiting. Oh, they both were waiting and chilled for someone to spot dodge. But they just jumped away. They both jumped away. Oh, big back air. Cover the jump. Yeah, Shuton is at his scariest when he has control of Kamehameha's Metal Blade because not only it's a tool that he can use to get some combos. Oh my Excellent. god. Excellent, just goes way off stage. He couldn't stage. even see him. No, he couldn't. There was Damn. Both characters were off stage, it seemed. But Kameme, you know, before things get too out of hand, already taking that stock, retaliating almost immediately. Yes, again. Oh, he wasn't able to get that forward air out. Kameme is trying just to keep him pinned at the ledge, but she's on his defense until he rolled into that up smash. was uh, really good. Okay, going back and forth now. These guys are just... Going tit for tat, hitting each other back and forth. Kamehameha, oh. of course, on winner's side stock, so has to play so, so carefully. Already down 50%, can't afford much more. Oh no, two purples on deck as well. Oh! The down smash does not tech that. Oh my goodness, these hits count for so much right now. 
May May in such a bad position. Gets the ledge drop, but not quite a landing arrow. Oh, and the snipe. Him off stage yeah, with a purple Pikmin. Yeah, out of here. Shutong <laughs> takes it 3-1 over Kameme. <laughs> Offers the fist bump. <laughs> Bit of a delayed reaction, Kameme's but they're laughing face. about it now. Oh, man. Nice stuff for Shutong. He definitely brought that all the way back. That looks like so 